there's been an ongoing mystery in Equestria that has yet to be solved. One that split apart the fandom of G4 and G5. And I think it's about time that we fix that problem and finally solve the mystery of Alicorns. Now, there's a lot to unwrap here with the Make Your Mark special having been released. Spoilers. For one thing, the crystals are affected by the emotional state of every pony near them. Meaning that if a group of ponies decides to fall towards hatred, the crystals would react by cutting off magic from every pony out there. The more hatred there is, the less magic there is, and the world will start to break apart. But more on that in another video. So towards the end of the special, another pony knew that the crystals would react that way, and she might have a strong connection to them too. But what's really interesting, well, other than the possibility that there might be a mare out there that knows more about the crystals. But anyway, this mare is not just a normal mare, no. She is an alicorn. And she's not just any old alicorn with holographic wings or a bad attitude. She's also the same kind of alicorn as the royal sisters. This is really good because this means that we need to reevaluate that old ancient alicorn theory. And let's see what's changed because there are two different types of alicorns out there. So first things first, let's talk about the elephant in the room. What is an alicorn? Well, an alicorn is a pony that has magic from all three tribes being Earth Pony, Pegasus, and Unicorn. They're typically seen as royalty, which could explain why this alicorn said that she could finally take back what was rightfully hers. Who knows, maybe she's talking about Equestria because it wouldn't really make sense for her to be talking about the crystal. I mean, think about it, why would she hand the ponies the crystals just for them to fix it and her having to take it right back? But there is more to this alicorn than meets the eye. Anyway, a regular pony can become an alicorn if they receive magic from all three tribes and create new magic, meaning that it's extremely rare to be born as an alicorn. So other than McFlurry here, there's no other ponies that were ever born as alicorns. Well, as far as we know anyway. Which leads me back to the original theory on alicorns. Is there a hidden alicorn civilization buried somewhere in Equestria or outside of Equestria? This civilization would have been responsible for sending Luna and Celestia to Equestria, but why? Well, who knows, because this theory was debunked faster than Rainbow Dash chugging a bottle of cider. But what if I told you that the theory was right? Well, sort of. There's still a lot of holes in this theory that not even I can actually fill up. After all, an alicorn civilization would be extremely interesting to discover. I mean, think about all the questions that you'd have. But what if instead of every alicorn coming from this hidden civilization, what if it was the other way around? What if that civilization did exist, but not during Equestria's time? Well, let's look at it from a different perspective then. If an alicorn civilization did exist, it couldn't exist in the same time as Equestria. For one thing, Tyrik would have definitely sought out the overwhelming amount of magic that that civilization would have possessed. So forget about taking over Equestria, he would have been able to take over the entire world with that kind of magic. And it is possible that it would have been kept a secret from everyone, but Discord not knowing seems really unlikely. I mean, Discord was able to find Grogar's bell even after no one else could. Windstriker, did you make this video just so you can destroy our dreams of an alicorn civilization? No, I didn't. While an alicorn civilization couldn't exist in Equestria, that doesn't mean that it can't exist. So first off, again, what is an alicorn? We've been here before. To put it simply, an alicorn is a pony with wings and a horn. Both of these were brought on by a magical transformation. But how is it possible for a pony to gain wings and a horn? I mean, that should be impossible. Well, unless the genes for it were already embedded in the DNA for that pony. So let's go back. Back to even before Grogar's time. Because if there ever was an alicorn civilization, that's where it would be. Why? Because if the alicorn genes are embedded in the DNA of ponies, that would make alicorns the ancient ancestors of every pony in Equestria. But the mystery still isn't solved yet. But we still have a few missing pieces. What was it that got the ponies to separate into different tribes? And why wasn't this ever mentioned before? Fair warning, everything after this point is complete and pure speculation. But it'll be speculation based in science. So let's start by talking about what separated the ponies into different tribes by comparing it to human history. Around 130,000 years ago to 40,000 years ago, the Neanderthals existed. They were a subspecies of humans. While they mainly relied on brute strength to survive, humans relied on tribes and packs. 
Guess which one lived till today? Strength in numbers, I guess. Going by the same example, something caused the alicorns to separate from each other and form their own tribes. Then evolution would take place. Well, if they didn't use their special features, of course, like the unicorn horn or the pegasus wings, or even the earth pony magic. But what would have happened to get them to never use them? Well, it had to be something massive that frightened them enough to separate. That's where I'd say it had to be some kind of war that happened. An alicorn war. Think about it. Actually, don't think about it. Just listen to this. Something caused the alicorns to all start attacking each other, which led to war. Each alicorn using all of their powers and abilities to win battle after battle. But the thing about war is that when it's over, there are no winners. No, there are only survivors with regrets that they ever had to do something like that. My heart goes out to them. When the war was over, only a few alicorns remained. So what did they do? They vowed to never use all of their abilities ever again. So they separated into three different tribes, each refusing to use the abilities that another tribe used. That way, war would never happen again. And that's when evolution would take place. Over time, they'd lose their abilities from having never used them. That would successfully create the three pony tribes, Earth Pony, Pegasi, and Unicorns. And that also puts them all in the right place for when Grogar ruled thousands of years later. And that means that every pony out there would have a recessive alicorn gene just waiting to be activated. That even explains why Flurryheart came to be. And it even explains Twilight, Cadence, and Cozy Glow becoming alicorns. But what about Sunny? Why is she so different from the G4 alicorns? Well, what we know about G5 is that magic had vanished for an extremely long time. Long enough for ponies to have separated and forgotten all about the magic of friendship. Makes you wonder if friendship is created by magic. After some time, Sunny and her friends found the crystals, brought back magic to Equestria, and the rest is history. So what's so different about Equestria in G5? Well, that's the wrong question. The real question is, what's the difference between G4 and G5 ponies? Back in G4, magic was rampant and each pony only had so much magic, just enough to get their cutie marks and fulfill their cutie mark goals and destinies. But if a pony's cutie mark was magic, then they'd be able to use more advanced spells using that magic. But we've never seen a unicorn be able to grow plants before. That ability was mainly set aside for earth ponies. Well, until Izzy came along. Unicorns in G5 can grow plants using magic. So we have to believe that they can also grow food as well. That means that something must have changed. Something that wouldn't be noticed by any pony in G5, but would definitely be picked up in an instant by G4 ponies. And you know what that is? Magic. Magic has evolved. Whatever happened to magic caused it to become far more potent. That's why earth ponies can grow vines and plants at a much faster rate than they ever could back in G4. And that's why unicorns can grow plants now too. The rules of magic as we knew them have changed. So things have changed in Equestria. And if alicorns need the magic from all of the three tribes to form, then that's why Sunny is so different. She's not a pseudo alicorn or some alicorn remains or some ancient alicorn or anything like that. No, what she is is the first alicorn and a whole new line of alicorns. That's why these two alicorns look different. It's because they are different. It's because this is a whole new generation. Quick announcement though, to celebrate the arrival of this special, I'm changing some things on my channel. So I'm not gonna be uploading a new video for the next two weeks, but I'll be returning on the 1st of July with a whole new look. I'll also be doing analysis and starting season one of a whole new What If series. All of this will be on a new weekly upload schedule set for every Friday. And yes, I'm a little frightened by that. But if you want to keep up to date with me, try subscribing and following me on Twitter. This is Windstriker Brony, flying off until the 1st of July. Hoof to heart.